Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make carrot uh, vegetable. Uh, you can use any oil if you want, but this is uh, mustard oil. And uh, for carrot, I would prefer, and as all my friends have said, mustard oil is better for carrot sabji. So we will just let the oil get smoky. Mustard oil always has to get smoky. And I know the the fragrance, the aroma of mustard oil is too strong but believe me it's very tasty. Okay, so now the oil is quite hot. Okay, and to that I add a, a half a teaspoon of jeera. Okay. This is for about uh, 300 grams of carrot, but I like a lot of, I can lower the heat a bit. I like a lot of garlic, so I'm adding more garlic to my sabji. Saute this garlic a little bit. Now here I have cut uh, carrots in circular. I have also cut carrots in, I have shredded it in the shredder. I have cut it into pieces like this and I have also cut it into fine jewels. But it depends on you, how you want to do it. So to this I will add carrot. I am adding all the carrots. I just cut them into different ways to show it to you all. But any way is okay. Give it a nice toss. Oh, it's really, it's, it's, the aroma is really nice of the mustard seed and the garlic. It's very, very nice. Okay, now I have mixed everything. To that, I'm going to add some curry leaves, fresh from my garden. And to that, I will also add two, the, uh, little more than medium size tomatoes and green chilies so give it a good stir and after that After that, we just cover and let it cook for 2 or 3 minutes till the, the tomatoes are a little soft. So I will cover and keep it. Now it's about 5 minutes that this is, you can see there is a lot of water that has come out from the tomatoes and the carrot. If you want to hurry up making this vegetable, you can also use the pressure cooker. Okay, so it depends on you. Um, I have also tried this out in the pressure cooker, but today I thought I will try it. Now to this, I am going to add half a teaspoon of coriander seed, coriander powder, half a teaspoon of Jeera powder, quarter teaspoon turmeric and preferably use Kashmiri Lal Milch powder so that it gives you a good color. And Kashmiri chili powder you can add according to your taste because as it is carrots are sweet so uh, it's according to your wish. 
I also like to add a little bit of fennel seed powder, you know. So that's the flavor of fennel seed is very appealing. I love fennel seed. Now again I mix this. You can see that the water is coming out from the tomato and the carrot and the cumin seed powder and the coriander powder I always prefer getting the whole seeds roasting them and then powdering it at home it may not be very fine of course you can strain it and get it very fine but then I prefer it little bit coarse and I like it that way now to this I will add a little bit of water say half a cup of water again I will simmer it half a cup of water and let it cook and all this is cooking on medium flame okay so we will come back to it now this has this has been cooking for about five minutes so I'll just give it a stir quick stir the carrots are beginning to get soft and at this point I add a little salt according to your taste again and the salt that you prefer Himalayan salt pink salt so many salts but our grandparents only used the normal thick crystal salt we never heard of the other salts when we were young but now there are so many salts okay so now this will cook for another some time to this we'll add garam masala just a quarter spoon I always prefer Everest garam masala Everest chili powder because somehow I feel that if I'm buying ready-made that's the only brand I trust there are many others who are there but Everest is like from Bombay from the time we were very young and to this I will also add kasuri methi kasuri methi gives this kasuri methi is already uh, roasted and kept here yeah? so I add nearly about one big teaspoon of kasturi methi and this will cook for another 15 10 to 15 minutes if I wanted it to be done very quickly I could just put it in the cooker and given it one whistle everything would have been fine but I chose to cook it in the pan so I cook it in the pan so I close it now again this is all on medium heat I close it for 10 to 15 minutes to see that when the carrot is soft enough then I will and the water has been drained off then I will check it again in between now let us open and check it out it's bubbling well but let us see if the carrot is cooked more water is coming out from the carrots and the tomato carrot is still a bit hard it's still hard it's uh, I have tried this in the cooker also cooker of one whistle and it's enough it's done and you can just open it and let the water reduce this it's taking a little bit time but today I wanted to make it in the pan so we let it sit for another 10 minutes or another maybe five minutes mostly we don't make carrot sabji you know 
carrot vegetable because we rarely use it but i'm telling you trust me it's really tasty and the next video i'm going to show you how to make the chapati that i make the way i make it it's not my own invention but i have seen it also somewhere but it's a really different variety of making the chapati and it really gives you lots of layers so i will show you how to make the chapati in my next video and the chapati and carrot sabji is sufficient i can relish on it so you also try it carrot sabji is really delicious and carrot has so many properties so many vitamins and everything in it so you can it is good for your eyesight everything so it's now i think it's done because it's sort of drying out okay so yeah it's totally drying out i don't believe in using too much of oil but if you had to have use a little more of oil it would have fried a little more well but i don't want that okay now let me see if this is yeah the carrot is cooked okay you can keep it according to your wish keep it for however long you want so this is perfect ouch this is perfect for me I add a little bit of coriander. Yeah, this recipe is really tasty. You can add your chili powder according to your taste because carrot is already sweet. So it depends on you how spicy you want. And there lovely carrot sabji is ready this let me wow you must try this along with the chapati that i am showing you it's a normal chapati but the layers it's the layers that i'm talking about so yeah and if you don't have mustard oil no problem use the normal uh, coconut i mean ground sunflower oil or you use um, olive oil can use no not i don't think you can use coconut oil no don't use coconut oil carrot is not a kerala dish but mustard oil is good and it's good for the heart also so please try this out and let me know how you all liked it thank you